Hey there, science seekers. Welcome to another episode of Spirit of the Raven TV. Today, we're gonna to be talking about spirit animals, but not just any spirit animals. We are gonna be talking specifically about spirit animals that help you with dun, 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 shadow work. Um, and if you did not know, I have an entire a channel on YouTube that's basically dedicated to totem animals. I mean, we got bat on there, we got ostrich, lion, stingray, all sorts of different creatures. Definitely go check that out so you can learn from your furry brothers and sisters on how to navigate this thing called life. But today, no, we are going to be talking about animals specifically um, included in shadow work. And so the first three animals um, I'm going to post on YouTube, I'm gonna post on Instagram, um, but in this video, I'm actually gonna be going over seven different types of animals that help with shadow work, but this will be in the shadow work bundle. So if you don't know what that is, I have currently a mini bundle on shadow work that has information in there that's a lot bigger than mini. <laughs> I will say it's some really deep information on how to do shadow work but I am going to be adding new videos to my shadow work bundle as time goes on. So if you are not a shadow warrior in there yet, definitely follow the links below or in the bio or wherever you're seeing this video and jump into that. So before we even start going down this list of animals, I just wanna say, let's take a moment to talk about how do you work with animal totems? Because I get this question all the time. It is not just about calling the animal in, that is a huge part of it, but it's also integrating the animal's lessons into your everyday life. Because you might think it's fun to just be like, oh, I call upon bear medicine. But if you find yourself in traffic, like, Mom! you know, like you might not have been ready for bear medicine because bear medicine can be very aggressive and very territorial. You know, the, the animals that you call upon, they really affect your everyday life. You can take on traits of the animal or people around you might take on the traits of the animal or situations will be put on your path that help you truly understand that animal's wisdom and medicine. So calling upon an animal is not just like, oh, yay. You know, it's like you should be really serious about asking them for their help because keep in mind that not every animal is going to work with you. There's times where I'll call upon an animal and they will straight up say no. <laughs> It happens because they're like, you're not in the right zone. And an example could be if you're doing shadow work, which is what this video is about is shadow work, animal totems. If you're trying to call upon a hummingbird, you know, it's going to be really hard to get a hummingbird to want to play with your energy. If you're in the depths of the shadow realm, because that's not where the hummingbird hangs out. So when you're doing shadow work, you're going to come in contact with dark animal energies because they're in that realm. It's like, you're not gonna expect to see a lion if you're swimming in the ocean, you know? So keep that in mind and, and not try and jump around from animal to animal because some animals don't wanna work with each other because either they're prey with each other or they just live in such different worlds that it, the energies can get very convoluted and very confusing. Not saying you can't work with animals from different realms ever. There's no rules set. It's just what I found by calling these animals in myself. So let's get started. So the very first animal we have up is going to be the coyote. <laughs> so if you are big into spirit animals, your totems, um, especially the Native American belief systems around these animals, you're gonna see that the coyote is one of a trickster energy and the coyote is a very hard animal to work with, but Cody is great for helping you move through ego death. So if you are someone who's really trying to get over your own shit, like you are tired of being the one that's sabotaging you and you're ready to be humbled down so that you can grow, then call upon the coyote. But be prepared because coyote usually comes with embarrassing medicine because you're gonna be shown all the ways to which you've been tripping yourself up. So though coyote is really harsh medicine to work with, Cody can really get you into the zone of looking at things from a new lens of like, oh man, I kind of am an asshole like that, aren't I? Um, so coyote is not a type of medicine if you are um, 
afraid to see those parts of yourself or you're not truly ready for ego death type of shadow work, then I would avoid uh, calling upon Coyote until you're a little bit stronger in your reserve and, uh, and in your skin. But with that being said, Coyote can very much help you in learning to have thicker skin because Coyote's job is to trip you up and to get you into your own traps so that you can learn what those traps look like and how to avoid them in the future. Coyote, if you are really ready for an ego death, if you're ready to see the parts of you that are not gonna serve you and that might even be hurting your progress, you can definitely call upon Coyote, but be warned that people around you might take on Coyote energy, meaning they might catch you up more and like your BS, because that's what energy you're asking for. You might have people testing you more. You might have people that play tricks on you. Um, sometimes in an extreme way, people that did not mean you good will use the energy sometimes to um, induce, I don't know, more of um, manipulating your energy in their favor. So just be aware of that. But the good news is, is it exposes all of this. If you work with Coyote, it'll be apparent. Um, so it'll be a really great cleansing energy at the end, but it's not an easy one to go through. It's like signing up for boot camp and knowing you're going to come out stronger, but it doesn't mean boot camp's going to be easy. That's what Coyote medicine is. So the second animal that we're going to go into is going to be the Raven. How could I not? How could I not? I have never covered Raven totem on any of my things. And I think it's because the totem just means so much to me that it's like a video just is not enough <laughs> to cover what I've learned about this animal being named after it and having a life that is very synchronistic with it. Um, obviously it's my main totem. So Raven energy, when it comes in, Ravens dive between the worlds, right? If we go back to the Bible and we're talking about the Raven gets released before the dove, you know, God energy, source energy did not, was not thinking that the Raven was going to come back. No, the raven was sent somewhere else because the ravens go between worlds. That's why ravens come around when people die. There's a veil that is very thin and ravens like to be around the veil. Also, they eat the flesh of the dead, right? So they're not afraid of decay. They're not afraid of darkness. They're not afraid of um, the inevitable death and rebirth of everything. And it's only in that darkness can new life be born. So when we're talking about death, when we're talking about decay or growth, darkness is always implied because um, the seed is planted in darkness. The baby is gestated in, is it gestated? Gestated. Ah, the baby is conceived and implanted in, implanted, I don't know. I don't know what the fetus is. Um, in darkness, right? In the womb, the womb is dark. So darkness allows us to be reborn. So Raven Totem will take you into the magic of death and rebirth. The thing with Raven Totem though, is you cannot be afraid of transformation. You cannot be afraid of death and rebirth of the changes that come with it because Raven will induce that energy real quick. So being ready to let go and have what is called a shaman's death is oftentimes what the Raven would want to work with you on um, to be able to help you deal with heavy, massive changes while also gaining knowledge and messages um, that eventually turn into wisdom to help other people through these dark challenges. So Raven medicine is really good to call upon if you are a shaman or a healer and you want to use your lessons in darkness to eventually help aid the planet in transmuting it into light. So call upon Raven if that is your aim. So the third animal that we are going to talk about is going to be the bat. So I have a whole video on bat totem. So if you really want to dive into bat, go over to my YouTube channel, check it out. Um, and you can really learn all about this little creature. Actually, bat was the first video I ever did on animal totems. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure. Or lions. It was one. Of, I think it was bat though. Um, but the bat, the bat is a very good animal safe animal to call upon um, during any dark, not just dark night, but any type of shadow work. They know how to maneuver through darkness by using sound waves. So by using vibrations, which in turn is their intuition along with um, clairsentience. They're able to feel their way through and clear audience hearing it, right? So they send out these little ticks of 
you know, to like basically hear the bouncing back so they know where the walls are. So whenever you're in a shadow work phase of your life, if you're going through massive changes and you can't quite tell what's real and what's not real, because that can happen really easily in um, any type of shadow work or dark night or ego death or whatever, the bat can help you have a grounded sense of knowing that you're going in the right way or that you're making the right decisions and you're taking the right chances. So bat can really help you feel your way through it without needing to see proof that things are getting better. So the bat, I think personally, if you're going through any form of shadow work, you should call on the bat immediately to help you. So that is going to be it for the three animal totems. Um, if you were watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on Instagram, whoop, whoop. If you want to see the rest of them, then become a shadow warrior. Join the shadow work bundle today and slay some motherfucking inner demons. And so if you are a shadow warrior, the video is going to keep going on. So if not, I leave you guys here. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.